Hello and welcome. I'm absolutely delighted to be here today to talk about the UK Antarctic Heritage Trust and the special sites that we care for thousands of miles away in the last grace wilderness on Earth, Antarctica. I'm Camilla Nicholl, Chief Executive of the charity, and here is a short film to give you a bit of an introduction to us and our work. Today, Antarctica is symbolic of our hopes for our planet's future. It is a place full of wonder where extraordinary wildlife and vast landscapes are protected by an international treaty. It is a place where human beings achieve remarkable feats, countries collaborate peacefully and scientists make pioneering discoveries. It is also one of the fastest warming regions on our planet and the continent plays a key role in our understanding of climate change. What about its history? Antarctica has a rich and fascinating past, from the first sighting of the continent just 200 years ago, to the exploitation of its seals and whales, to the stories of human courage and exploration. Here at the Trust, our aim is to connect everybody with the wonder of Antarctica and its history, to encourage a greater understanding of this phenomenal place and the role we all have in protecting it. Some of that history is preserved in several designated historic sites and monuments on the Antarctic Peninsula. Abandoned wooden buildings which together tell a unique and ultimately human story of exploration and scientific discovery. From the sledging trips from Base A at Horseshoe Island to the long and sometimes chequered history of Whalers Bay, which saw whaling, scientific research, early flights and volcanic eruptions. These modest huts and structures are the last vestiges of evidence of those who went before us, whose efforts became the foundation of all we are able to do in Antarctica today. Here at the UK Antarctic Heritage Trust, we care for six of those sites, which are protected under the Antarctic Treaty, so that their story might be shared with future generations. Our most famous site, Port Lockroy, is famous for being the world's most southerly public post office and museum, a place where you can visit by ship, jump back in time, and send a postcard home to friends and family. It's located within a sheltered harbour off the coast of Vinky Island and offers some of the most dramatic mountain and glacial scenery on the west side of the Antarctic Peninsula. For more than a century, Port Lockroy has been home to explorers, whalers, scientists and sailors who have made vital contributions to Antarctic history. Let me tell you a bit more about it. During the Second World War, the British government launched a top-secret mission to Antarctica, codenamed Operation Tabarin. The aim of this mission was to manifest Britain's presence on the continent by establishing wintering bases at strategic locations, where Britons would be stationed throughout the year to assert the British claim to this part of Antarctica. 
The cover story was that it was to monitor shipping activity in the Southern Ocean and deter German U-boats. The real purpose, of course, was to monitor and counter encroachment in what they considered to be British Antarctic territory. So Port Lockroy was established in 1944 and started collecting scientific data and thus became the birthplace of what we now know as the British Antarctic Survey. At the end of the war, the operation of Port Lockroy was transferred to the newly formed Falkland Island Dependencies Survey, who operated the site as a scientific research base and communications hub until 1962 when it closed. In 1995, under the Environmental Protocol of the Antarctic Treaty, it was recognised for its contribution to scientific research and was given protected status as Historic Site and Monument No. 61. Today, Port Lockroy has become one of the most popular visitor destinations in Antarctica and is the cornerstone of our efforts to conserve British Antarctic heritage in Antarctica. It offers an extraordinary glimpse into life on an Antarctic base with a living museum full of original artefacts and instruments, we send posts all around the world from our little base each year. In fact, this year, a postcard even made it all the way to the International Space Station. The proceeds of our shop and our post office go towards the conservation management and protection of all our historic sites, which require regular maintenance and care in one of the most hostile environments on Earth. Each year, we send a small team to run our Port Lockery site and welcome visitors. It is an open recruitment process and anyone can apply for an experience of a lifetime. In addition to the Port Lockway team, each year we also send a specialist conservation team to spend time at one or more of the other sites. Conservation is at the heart of everything we do. The practical care and management of our historic bases and their artefacts in Antarctica is both our biggest challenge and our greatest responsibility. Our ongoing work to protect and stabilise these buildings aims to ensure they will be available for future generations to learn from and enjoy. Of course, we couldn't talk about Antarctica without mentioning penguins. We share our Port Lockroy site with 500 breeding pairs of Gen 2 penguins, who made their home at Port Lockroy in the 1980s, possibly for the same hospitable reasons humans did 40 years earlier. Penguins are important animals within Antarctica's ecosystem and are vital indicators of environmental change. We work with the British Antarctic Survey to study the colony to better understand how they are adapting to a changing environment. Port Lockery is the only place in Antarctica where we can monitor an entire breeding season and gather data each year. Our study started more than 20 years ago and offers important insights into the Gen 2's long-term survival. Closer to home, we use Antarctic heritage as a lens through which to explore Antarctica to take audiences with us on a journey of discovery. We appreciate that most people will never have the chance to visit, so we create innovative educational arts and digital experiences through our Antarctica Insight programme to bring Antarctica into the lives of millions of people around the globe. We want everyone to be inspired by this remarkable place, from pioneering 3D experiences, festivals, schools, workshops and films to our acclaimed podcast series. We speak with leading explorers, scientists, conservationists and artists about Antarctica's fascinating past, present and future. The UK Antarctic Heritage Trust is a registered charity and every year we rely on donations and gifts to deliver our conservation programme and projects. If you feel inspired by what you hear and see today, please do join us. You can be part of Antarctica's story by making a gift on our website or through our CAF America Friends Fund. There's lots more to explore on our website at ukaht.org where you can watch our films, read about the historic sites and our work, download podcasts and find out the many ways you can support us. Please do consider supporting us in whatever way you can. You can become a member, you can buy some great gifts in our shop, and now you can even adopt a penguin and follow their journey throughout the Antarctic season. Antarctica is such a very special place and important to every single one of us, even if we didn't know it. So do join us and explore this remarkable place on our planet and help us protect it for the future. Thank you.
follow in the tradition of the great polar explorers, setting your sights on Antarctica with this fascinating 13-day itinerary. Your once-in-a-lifetime journey begins in Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires. Then it's on to Ushuaia, the southernmost city in the world. From here, you'll sail past legendary Cape Horn and cross the fabled Drake Passage as you head for the bottom of the world. Antarctica. This is nature at its most flawless. An immense wild land of extremes and rugged beauty. A place so remote it eluded discovery until just two centuries ago. Norwegian Edward Amundsen, the first man to the South Pole, described this place as a wonderful fairy tale in blue and white. In this extraordinary setting, you'll enjoy a week of enlightening, educational and deeply enriching experiences. Each one designed to help you better understand the intricate details of this fabled continent. A majestic ecosystem only a tiny fraction of the world's population will ever have the privilege to see. Your purpose-built Viking vessel is an ideal base from which to explore and learn. A floating classroom sharing the science behind the otherworldly environment you're exploring. The ships of Vikings sail with a range of vessels designed to explore from the sea, making it easy to investigate these stunning landscapes. As you travel these dramatic waters, your nature-based schedule will be optimized to take advantage of weather and most importantly, wildlife viewing opportunities. You have a front row seat in nature's greatest theater when Antarctica's locals decide to put on their display. And of course, in the spirit of discovery, you'll spend significant time on the continent's unspoiled shores, examining the extreme geology with expedition leaders. An exploration of Antarctica with Viking is an illuminating, rewarding journey. A profound, thought-provoking immersion into this remarkable place. An unforgettable adventure where you are sure to be humbled by nature. Your expedition concludes in Ushuaia, Argentina, the world's southernmost city where you'll board your flight for a return to Buenos Aires. <laughs>